The 1940s were a memorable time in history, both overseas and here at home in New Orleans. The times were often challenging and sacrifices were necessary, but the spirit of the Academy of the Sacred Heart lived on and it united a special group of women. These are the tales of the Sacred Heart Girls of the 40s. We graduated on D-Day and had no realization of how important a day that was in history. We were totally unaware of, we didn't read the newspapers and we had no television. I had two brothers that were in the Navy and of course that was a big concern with our family that we prayed for their safety. At that time, we were on rations. We learned the difference between wants and needs. When the war was declared, uh, Pearl Harbor in uh, 41, we were here. And when we graduated in 45, it was uh, the end of the war. So we, we were here for the duration. My father used to pick up soldiers when he was he worked in Jefferson Parish and he would drive home and he would pick up soldiers who were hitchhiking and bring them home for dinner. My father was a physician, a pediatrician. All the young doctors were taken into the war and so my father was really busy. Looking back on it now from my age now, I think what a wonderful place this was. It was a, an education to me second to none. Besides your academic education, you got a spiritual journey also. We had preems on Monday and they gave your très bien and that was when you were really good. And très biens were not something I received quite often. <laughs> we would have to have to or were expected to curtsy in the hall to the Reverend Mother and the Mistress General. For entertainment we did have some little dances. Sometimes some of the girls would have something at their house. For me, sports were important. I was on all the sports teams and I loved that. And then I've always had my piano. That was special to me. The best entertainment was Kosh Kosh on Conjays. We just loved to go hide in the laundry and sister would throw a sheet over the laundry basket with four or five girls in it and nobody ever found us. Every day at 10 o'clock or whatever time we had off, we'd a group of us would go over to the sacred, to the uh, chapel. Somebody would play the piano and we would dance. It was always a fight of who was going to be the boy. Nobody wanted to be the boy to lead. They gave us the best values, the best ideas about what makes life meaningful. They taught us more than just the books. They taught us character. And actually, they turned us out as leaders. They teach you so many wonderful things here spiritually and give you such a good administrative education that, you know, you're bound to succeed if you just remember what you were taught here. Enjoy your high school years because they are some of the freest years you will ever have. Particularly enjoy your friends because they will be your friends for the rest of your life. Listen when they talk to you, when the teachers and the religious talk to you about your, your heart and where it belongs. When I walk through those gates, I still feel that feeling, you know. It's an honor to be a part of the Girls of the 40s video. Who knows, maybe in 60 years, I'll be sharing my tale of my own experience with rosary.